Hello, Maz gang. So we are just about ready to leave home. Brian is just doing a little bit of, little bit of last minute um, tidying up. But we are all packed and ready to go. There he is, Mr. Hello. Working Bee himself. Hi. Yeah. Getting ready to go on our next layover. Yes. So this is state number 10. Is it only 10? Yeah, I think we finally just reached 10 now. If it's not 10, it's 11, but we'll double check and, and let you know by the end of the video. But we are very much packed. Have my fanny pack, trusted, never leave home without it. Um, by the way, this pin and this sticker, thank you from Cheflon. So as you can see, like we're already using the stuff, but we're about to go and pick up some food before we head to the airport. So we have something to eat on the way there. Well, not on the way there, but on the way to our next state. And of course, we are going to keep you guys up to date on the good time that we're about to have. So if you are interested, stay tuned so you can see where we're going. I am. Oh, shit. <laughs> Recording you having a little difficulty there. Okay. There we go. All right. Perfect. Just made it to the airport just got dropped off um brian is heading back to staff parking and then he'll take the shuttle over so i'll see him after i go through tsa which is what i'm about to do now um just a tip because we would have shown you some of the traffic coming into the orlando airport just now all of that traffic was really for arrivals so people who were like picking up their people if you really, really, really want to get through very easily at this airport, go to departures and just ask whoever it is that you're picking up to go one level up. It really will save you a whole lot of time. So, yeah, that's my quick tip. Okay, about to join this TSA line. Normally when we're traveling, we tend to go for early morning flights. Uh, this one, I believe, is somewhere after 7 p.m. Uh, but TSA isn't too full right now, so... I should be able to get through pretty easily. What's going on, Mass Gang? So I am in the crew room area um, of the airport. Alec is by the gate. He got through security extremely quick today, so that's a good thing. Um, today, so I'm going to tell you, we're going to Indianapolis. I've only been there once for a layover and it wasn't long. I didn't even leave the airport. I mean, the, um, the room, but I'm excited to go. Um, yeah, this should be fun. This will be our first time. We're going to try to rent a car, but their policies there may be a little different. Um, plus, I have an Apple card and apparently businesses have a hard time running them. So we'll see. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, we'll be opening it. But yes, we'll see you in a bit. Yes. Hey guys, so I have a quick minute, so little update. I got my seat assignment, so I made it on the plane, which is great. I was the first person on the standby list, but it wasn't a full flight, so I was able to get on pretty easily. Um, I just have a few seconds before everybody else starts boarding, but yes, we are going to be on our way to Indiana. I didn't really get much time with Brian in between he came pretty close to when he had to go on the plane so yeah time for him to go to work and time for me to sit and enjoy my ride <laughs>
so we have safely touched down in Indianapolis. We currently are in the airport still. Normally, when I'm coming on a layover with him, we would have gone with the crew van to the hotel, but he is the only one that's actually laying over or staying over, I should say, um, on this trip. And I mean, other than that, the everywhere that we want to go is a little distance away from the hotel. So we thought that it might be better to drive. So we're actually renting a car this time around. So he's doing that right now. I'm just waiting for him to come back so that we can tell you what happened on the flight. The flight was pretty eventful. Um, yeah, but I'll wait until he comes back. Yes, that's All right. <laughs> they probably can't even see it. But yes, here he is. He's back with us. Um, yeah, so we, well, you already picked out the car. Well, they gave it to me because they didn't have any full size cars. Because I just wanted. Oh, so you didn't even have to pay the extra money for no, it? No, no. Oh, okay, then that's good. That's yeah, it's good great. Thing. Yeah. You thought I paid for it? Yes. No. So, what, what uh, is a terrain? Yeah. What brand is that? GMC. Okay, a GMC terrain, which is a car that Brian wants to get. I in the future like yeah i wouldn't mind getting one so. yes i think he's extremely glad that he's gonna get to try it out today and i mean we got it at a discount technically yeah. so even better right. but we're gonna try and see how far is the hotel from here i have no idea i want to check all of that out once we get inside okay all right okay here's the car is it to your liking uh so far i mean i haven't been in it yet but... I don't like it. So, ooh, we left what 80 something degree weather to now uh, 30s, 34, I think it is. is that what it is right now? Yeah, I believe so. Okay guys, so we made it to the hotel, finally. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> so we don't recommend the water, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we left Florida in 80 something degree weather. It is now 38 degrees. No, 38 is 34. Oh. Yeah, 34. Um, but we don't mind the cold, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're prepared because we're kind of expecting this kind of weather in Florida, but I guess global warming definitely is a thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it is not cold by any means this year. Mm -mm. But we're going to chill out a little bit, eat something, and then we're actually going to try and see if we can like get on the road from today, well, tonight. Yeah, we're going to start with Greg's Indy. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. Okay. It's a gay bar in Indianapolis in the city. It's about eight miles away. 23 minutes so my gps says so we'll probably chill out they close at three yeah so we have some time it's now what 10 30 there about 10 31 10 31 okay yeah so we have a little time show you guys the room a little bit Starting by the door it's a quaint little room let's see what this bathroom is given oh okay one of those really nice lights oh it's a standing shower Okay. Hmm? I don't know that we've gotten it um in the hotel. In like your crew hotel. Okay. I see you in the mirror. <laughs> there you go. Two beds. Nice little artwork. Am I selling it? Yes, you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm, all right. And there you go. Tour complete. It's small and quaint, but it does what they need to do. They're only here for a night, right? Mm -hmm. Well, two nights for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is actually interesting for us too, because normally I'll be with him at least until... He works his legs right before going home. Mm. But today is Saturday. He's coming home on Tuesday morning. I'm heading back on Monday. So we only have about 30 something hours together. Mm -hmm. But he'll be here for like 40 something, almost 50 hours. 45. 
Okay, forty five. There you go. Yeah. So, anyways, gonna take your time, and you'll see us back in a little bit. We have finally gotten up, and we are about to head out. Yes, we are. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh. Why does that always happen to me? Like we were happy with the diversity, not only in the crowd but the music too. I mean, it, everything kind of had like a EDM, you know, clubbish kind of background to it, but it was it was still fun. It yeah. was still fun, and it's a huge place it's compared, place. yeah, like compared to like other gay bars that we've been to in other cities, even in our own city, to be quite honest. Yeah, but it was a good time. I would definitely go back and definitely recommend it to anybody that's visiting Indy. Yeah. <laughs> I'd um, recommend it too. The place is really nice. Like he said, it's very diverse. The music, I like the music. A lot of people are into house and like stuff like that, but I love it. So I had a great time. Um, this was a great start to day one for Indy. Mm hmm um, excited to see what happens. I also like the fact too that most of the clubs that we were looking up close at three. So for us in Orlando, everything closes at two and it's like a hard stop at two. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to actually be able to like be out a little bit later. Yeah, but yeah. this one is extremely tired. I'm tired too, but as you can see, it's like sleeping on camera <laughs> already. <laughs> mm. So. It's time for bed. Bye. We'll see you in the morning. Later. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Mass Gang. Yeah. So, this is our first or only full day, and we are about to get a start. It's like 11 30 something now. Um, but we have our day kind of planned out, so I think we'll be okay. Right? Yeah, so I think we'll be good. Um, we're gonna start out trying to find something to eat and what they're known for, which is like sugar cream pie. So we are on the search for that and we're on the search for the best one in Indy. So, yeah, so we're gonna go and do that first. So let's go. to our first destination yes pots and pans cold yes i'm guessing i'm wondering does it is it only the sugar pie that they do or they do like no, other baked stuff too a lot of baked stuff like it's a variety okay okay so we're gonna be doing dessert before we do lunch today just because we don't want the place to close because mm -hmm. it is a sunday and we know that everywhere kind of closes a little bit earlier today mm -hmm. so we had to kind of shift what our plan was but yeah let's get to it this will be our first time trying sugar cream pie. It's been a lot of years, really think you came along past me. I gotta fend myself off. I gotta fend myself off. I gotta cool it down. Look at me. Never mind a girl with a mind like this. No, no. So we 
got her order. Bam. Secured the bag. We did. Yeah, so it's not, um, it's just a pickup and delivery place. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go back in the car and try this. We also see that they have like savory options, so like pot pies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if they do like single portions. If we really like this, then we might go back inside and get one of those. We don't have a place, they're frozen, so we don't have a place to cook it. But that's what I'm saying, if they do like single portions that are hot and ready, because oh. you can smell them like cooking something. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Okay. So they did say it's like a... Um, creme brulee. Yeah, like a custard pie with a creme brulee top. Uh, it looks good. Uh, okay, so which part? first. Which part you want? That part. That part? Mm -hmm. Okay, you go first then. Okay, thick. Yeah, it is. Let me get a little piece of that <clears throat> creme brulee part too. And some of the crust. Okay, I'll show them. See, yeah. the, that looks good. Yeah, his one looks better than mine. There we go. This one was uh, crust. Mm, okay, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Okay, that's good. It tastes like the the cheese in a uh, um, pastry, like those mm -hmm. those cheese pastries. Yeah. It tastes like that. You know, because it said sugar cream pie, I was expecting it to be like overly sweet like yeah like it would have just killed me on the mm -hmm. sugar but it really isn't the only sugar that you're like tasting is the creme brulee part at the top so you're getting a slight burnt taste of sugar mm -hmm. which i like i love that yeah it's actually really good i would recommend okay good first time how much would you give it out of 10 this? for your taste so i'm not a pie person mm -hmm. But this, I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10. I think my favorite pie is obviously probably sweet potato. Mm -hmm. But this is actually good. This is, I can do this. Yeah, I think yeah. so. This tastes more like a cheesecake to me think, in, mm -hmm. in terms of like the texture. Mm -hmm. And because it's not like heavy on the crust. But yeah, I would give this probably around a 7 or 8 too. I think the second bite I took, I tasted more of the custard itself mm -hmm. and i actually liked it more yeah. so i'd give it a i'd give it a solid eight too okay well we did sugar cream pie we did <laughs> So we've made it to our second spot. We're finally gonna eat actual food. Mm -hmm. So we stopped here by Harry and Izzy's, which is by the Keystone Fashion Mall, mm -hmm. or very close in that area. Yeah. We actually asked the person in the lobby, what was what his name again? The receptionist. Uh, yeah, sorry. The receptionist at the hotel that we're staying at, where would be a good place to eat? She said that Indianapolis is really a lot of American eats. So you're going to find your standard burger, fries, you know, that kind of stuff here. Um, so we went and we did a Google review just to see like what was one of the most searched places. And this was one of the most recommended. So well, let's go do it. Yeah, we tell you how it is.
prime rib sandwich. What did you get? Basic burger. <laughs> Basic burger. <laughs> so doing what we always do, sharing. So best of both worlds. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Good. Initially, I saw these fries and I was like, they look a little burnt, <laughs> right? But then when I tasted them, they taste like homemade fries. Like, it reminds me of the first set of fries that my mother would like actually cut out the potatoes and fry them herself. So, I actually really, really enjoyed these. Back in the car on our way to our next destination. But how did you enjoy Harry and Izzy's? I actually really enjoyed it. It was good. The um prime rib sandwich was probably my favorite part. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even my meal. <laughs> right? Can mm -hmm. we share it? Mm -hmm. But it was it was really good. Yeah, the prime rib tasted like excellent. And then the burger, you could tell that it was fresh too. Like everything there tastes like they make it fresh there. Go past yeah. this light. Like it's then almost like it was from home. Right. But right now we are going to be heading to, I think it's the Motor Speedway Museum. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who don't know, Indianapolis is At the, the racing. Turn right onto Keystone Avenue North. <laughs> She's so North. Right? <laughs> Indianapolis is the racing capital of the world. So we couldn't come here and not go and check out something that had to do with motor cars or racing cars. So we're about to go there now. And I'm excited to see what's gonna be there. Yeah, it's our second museum. Yeah. Or third. True, true, yeah. true. Yeah, well, let's go. Indy 500 racetrack. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to do this today. I we thought were, we were just going to the museum. I didn't know we were going to do the tour. Oh, yeah. This I is mean, pretty cool. Yeah, we didn't expect to do the tour. It was an additional $10. So it's $15 to get in and $10 additional to do the tour. Um, and I think this is a part of the Kiss the Brick tour. Mm -hmm. So it's apparently tradition for every winner to kiss the bricks at the pagoda or slash, I guess, the finish line. Yeah, this finish line, and yeah. this is where they do the trophy presentation. So, we well, I'm not gonna kiss the floor, no, I'll get close, but I'm not gonna kiss the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they do the trophy presentation. Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we just made it back inside 
for the actual tour. Yeah, we're simulator. good, we're good. Yes, they are. Right, okay, awesome. perfect. So we're about to go to the simulator, which they said is like the most exciting part of it. So, yeah, hoping it's high speed <laughs> and good. These are the fastest times today and that one in the pink is the all-time fastest that anybody has done so let's see how Brian does I promise you, Brian drives much better than that in real life. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> he was just shy of making it on the leaderboard for the day. Just shy. Yeah. So you had to make like 39.05 or something like that to be on the leaderboard, the top nine times for the day. And you did like 40 flat. Mm. Yeah, so almost, almost. Good job. It almost doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> So you see where race cars are coming from? Look at how huge this is. And this used to go 90 miles an hour. Well, I don't know how fast it went. I was just being facetious. Oh, that is probably 90. <laughs> yeah, that's huge though. Now this is more like what you, yeah, what you're probably expecting to see today. So it's amazing to see what the progression is like. Guys, Brian is so out of order. Brian said this is what my tires looked like when he met me. <laughs> oh my car. That is what his tires look like. But anyway, these cars, you can see the evolution. This is from 1922 and that car went 94 miles per hour. This was in the 90s and it was going, I think the max was 134 miles per hour, which is crazy. So as you can see, these are actually bricks from the road that we were talking about earlier. They all look a little different because there was no one place that carried the same bricks. So they had to get them from multiple places. Those are actually ticket stubs. This is a list of all of the winners from 1911 to 1973 some more stubs and some more articles man this this exhibit was actually really interesting i'm not really into nascar like that or the indy 500 but it was good to see the evolution of where it started to where it is today and hey, look at the, the helmets man like where they came from to where they are now how could you be safe with that Is, man. Damn. So they actually do have a model car that you're able to take your pictures with. And you can always ask one of the workers here to also take a picture for you they're very helpful and they know all the right angles to catch everything yeah here is the infamous trophy it has faces of so many of the winners If you've ever watched the Indy 500, you may have noticed that the winners are always popping a bottle of milk at the end. Well, we found out that the tradition started with Louis Meyer when he won his third Indy 500 title in 1936. It's been done on and off since then, and now it's tradition.
So we just left the Motor Speedway Museum and we're about to do our last stop before we head back to the hotel to get some rest and probably one of our last stops here while we're in Indianapolis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm a little out of it. <laughs> yeah, so we're heading to the Monument Circle, uh, which we're like standing right in front of it right now and you can see it like as soon as you come you it's it. yeah it's an yeah, amazing it. view the only thing, what mm -hmm. sucks is that um it's closed like half of it is closed yeah so they're doing construction so normally you would have been able to get like a bird's eye view mm -hmm. of the entire circle but because they're doing construction that part of it is closed yeah yeah but it's still a beautiful sight to see and we didn't want to miss it so we'll show you guys Quite a bit of pain. I'm having a bit of a flare up right now, so that's not that's why I'm not as talkative as I normally am. My Crohn's is kind of kicking my ass today, but I'm here. I'm gonna make this happy. I'm gonna make this work. But yeah, um, babe is hard at work. I'm here supporting him from the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a pretty dope trip, man. Indianapolis. It, I mean, I, I guess we gotta stop. Uh, underestimating other parts of the country because man like we had a great time in louisville we had a great time here it's just we're excited to to see where else our travels will bring us oh, now he's taking selfies John. all right let me go grab this bus so we can get back to this hotel <laughs> Next light, continue Beyonce straight. Before she was the world leader in Grammys with 32. Beyonce. I was trying to fall into the frame, but you didn't let me do it. I just thought you did it. <laughs> hey guys. Take two. Hey guys. <laughs> so we made it back to the room. Um, we took, well, I took a little nap. Did you? A couple minutes. Yeah. yeah, probably just a couple minutes. Today is actually... Is this Super Bowl is, Sunday. Yeah, so this is the final? Is that what it is? I don't know. I don't watch football, so I really don't know, guys. Yeah, this is the team. The top two teams get to play it out. Okay, okay. Well, we actually have um, a sports bar. Downstairs in the lobby. Yeah, so we're going to go and... See what's up with the Super Bowl. They got some good deals on wings. And I heard that the wings here are really, really good. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they're really, really good today too. And Rihanna is going to be performing for the halftime show. That's the reason we're going down. Yeah, right? That's the real reason. <laughs> so we're going to make a fun time about it. It's my last few hours here. So this will probably be the last thing that we do together, together. for the trip. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's go. See what's up.
So we have about 15 minutes before the Rihanna concert begins. <laughs> <laughs> we just got our wings. So we have our food, we're just waiting for the show now. We're good. It's gonna start! Oh, that ready just lit her out? Okay guys, so we just watched the halftime show. What do you think? So aside from Rihanna confirming she's pregnant. Right? Because first off, like when I saw the jumpsuit, I was like, why does she look like she's pregnant? And then I'm like, I'm not gonna be that guy mm -hmm. that sees somebody like, you know, look like they have a little weight on them and like, are they pregnant? Mm -hmm. But the outfit looked like she was trying to highlight something. Yeah. So, and I couldn't help it. Like, even when she was singing Diamonds, you saw she put her hand on her belly, mm -hmm. and I was like, no, this bitch is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, all in all, I think it was a little underwhelming for a Super Bowl um, yeah. performance, but considering the fact that she's pregnant, it's been so long since she's been on stage. I love it either way. Yeah, and I must say, she sounded very good. Yes, she did. Because we all know that Rihanna sometimes can be like, hit or miss when it comes to live music they yeah. are singing live but she gave you the vocals at least if nothing else she gave you the vocals yes. and then to do that how many ever months pregnant she mm -hmm. is good enough to be showing mm -hmm. she made me an uncle again i'm so proud let me call her when we get off the phone <laughs> girl why you ain't tell me you wish, you wish. <laughs> But very, very happy for her. Congrats to her. Yes. And ASAP. ASAP Rocky. ASAP. ASAP. What are you doing over there, mister? I am currently bidding on my schedule for next month. Okay. I mean, you normally do it around this time every month, too, right? Yeah, so on the 12th of every month, we have to bid for our schedule for the next month um yeah it lets you pick what you want and what you don't want okay well you know it's mostly lines hopefully you can work in another trip for us next <laughs> month yeah i'm actually looking for so that's how i bid i bid to see the max amount of days that i can get off mm -hmm. and then um which the least amount of flying Okay. And then I also like to see like what trips I can work in there at the same time. Okay. Well, fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Guys. He's leaving me. It's time to go. I have to drop him off at the airport. It is now what time is it there? Basically four. Call it four AM. It's four in the morning. His flight's at 6.30, so we need to get him to the airport now. And I don't leave here until 7.30 tonight. A little 12 hours away. Yeah. So I go from here to, uh, from Indianapolis to Vegas, and then I do our Vegas red eye home. So I won't get back until Tuesday morning around six. Which but, is Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, let me get him out. Bye. It was good, Indianapolis.
is now almost 6.30. I'm about to leave and head to the airport. Alec made it home safely. I did not have to show my ass at the airport today. So all is well. Um, yeah, so today's gonna be a little weird once I get to the airport because I'm supposed to work a flight back from, from Indiana to Las Vegas. Give y'all a little history, see if y'all can follow. I'm working a chaser pairing, which means I just follow the plane. It's only one person on this pairing, so I'm the only one that's working it. However, they sent an aircraft that I'm not, in, according to this pairing, I'm not qualified to fly. So one of two things are going to happen. Either I'm not going to work the flight and I'm going to stay here, or they are going to have me deadhead, which I think you've heard me say before. They'll have me deadhead from Indy to Vegas. That would be amazing if that's the case because I can get some extra sleep, watch movies. I'll just be flying as a passenger and not as a flight attendant. So um, I'm hoping that that is the case because honestly, if, if I don't get to Vegas, I won't be able to get home until later in the day tomorrow. So hopefully they can get me on the flight and I can just deadhead the first leg. If that's the case, then I only have to work Vegas back home, which is only three hours and some change. And it's a red eye. So everybody's going to be asleep. So. We'll see, but I'm about to get ready um, to head out so I can return this car, maybe get something to eat, and then go sit at the gate. Bye. What's going on, Mass Gang? I am in the car on my way to the airport now. My spidey senses make, are making me feel like I'm late, but I know that I'm not. My showtime's not for another hour exactly an hour 6 36 right now and i'm not supposed to be there until 7 35 so and i'm only 11 Turn minutes left away onto fortune circle west sorry i'm only 11 minutes away so i will let y'all know once i get there all right mass gang i've made it to the airport i got through kcm with no issues they get randomed all my flight attendants know the struggle with kcm nowadays so that's two days in a row um wow this is where we ate yesterday but yeah i'm on my way to the gate to find out what i'm doing tonight okay so i just ran into my crew my luck is shit because i'll be working the flights a broken pairing so i'm filling in for the fifth crew member i guess i gotta get ready for work what's going on man's game i made it to vegas um the flight wasn't bad. The uh, crew was cool. But I am starving and I don't have anything to eat. In Vegas, I don't understand why everything closes so early here. So I am going to have to thug it out until I get to Orlando, which is unfortunate because I am starving. But I only got one left to go. Valentine's Day, that'll be my gift to them for Valentine's Day, so I am exhausted. I'm tired. I'm gonna eat, take a bath, and go to bed. So I'll see y'all next vlog. Um, I hope you guys liked what we did in Indianapolis. It was a good time. We enjoyed it. Um, if Babe and I don't close this out together, I'll close it out now like this video please like the video give us a comment let us know what you like most about what we did and most importantly please subscribe oh and share it too thanks bye guys